Why, hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. This is part six of my reviewing all the new relics in, yeah, in, uh, in <laughs> the beautiful new updated visuals of Rise to War. Just make sure I don't say a different game or something. I did that one time to you guys. I said a different name for some reason. <laughs> I think I said, like, Return to Moria or something. Um, so anyway... They've done some new visual updates. You can see, wow, he's doing some crazy looking spins there, Mr. Uh, Mr. Haldir. But what does he get? He gets a beautiful new bow, and he says, Lorien shall not be disturbed by such intruders. It is my duty as Marsh Warden to protect the realm of Caliborn and Galadriel. Well, it's good, good for you, sir. So he gets a glorious new bow if you get his relic. I love how they, they rotate now. They look so cool. All right, we continue down the row here. We have Gorbag. He looks pretty cool. He has this cool looking, like, Skull banner? That's kind of cool. Where does he put the skull banner? He must, oh, he must replace this banner with the skull banner. So again, they physically replace their items. I think I've showed you in the very first of this series, but if you look right here, for example, you see Dane has this look cool looking relic axe, and this is his actual relic he has. If he, if I unequip it, he will have his regular hammer back, which I actually kind of like the hammer better, but the axe kind of fits with the lore better. So, props to Rise to War for that. So anyway, continuing on where we left off here. Again, if you throw me a like and subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. But let's just move on and go through here to Hiragon. Very cool looking, again, visually updated. Uh, Jethro said he would totally wear this gear. I agree, I would totally wear this. We want to cosplay as Gondorian Rangers now. Um, <laughs> he gets the Red Arrow, which is a lore Easter egg from the books. The Red Arrow was something between Rohan and Gondor, as the, they're basically their friendship vow. Um, I'm forgetting in the books if Hirgon is a book character that takes the arrow, or if he's made up and just has the arrow for Rise to War. Leave a comment if you remember that right now. I don't remember that. All right, so we have Elodin. Again, gotten some wonderful visual updates. They look they look a lot better now. Um, as characters, what does he get? He gets Nocturne. Oh. Sweet. He has a League of Legends champion to wield now. Oh, wait, no. Wrong, wrong game. Sorry. Um, only people who play League of Legends are going to get that joke. Let's see here. Then we have Celeborn. Right? He looks pretty awesome. He is uh, very uh, regal in his movements, isn't he? Um, he gets the Sindar Scepter. The Dark Lord's influence shall be cleansed from the forest. Well said. That's really pretty looking. Look at how beautiful that looks. I feel like you just like blast them with ice magic with that or something. Just push. If it was like harder fantasy in that way. Aragorn the second. Cool. What does he get? Ah, Anduril. Right here. See this sword behind me? That is, that is Anduril hanging right there. I review that on the collection playlist if you want to check it out on the channel. I review a lot of United Cutlery replicas. I do many different things on the channel, but that's that's one of them. Um, and then we have Elro here. The other brother of the twins. What does he get? A new bow or something? Ah, oh, of course. He gets Bow of the Imladris. Alright, we have Lathar, who has such cool... He got to keep his cool animation! Why didn't Mike Gimli get to keep mine? Zol and grumpy noises. Alright, Relic. He gets, uh... Okay, the messenger. That's not a messenger, that's a knife. He's like, yes, but it's getting my message across. Don't you understand, Zolan? I stab people. Oh... <laughs> and then we have the shadow, sorry. <laughs> My bad troll jokes. Who also has a really cool animation. And he gets the Doom Forged Maces. Maces, which look really scary with their glowing fog effect there on the ends. Oh my gosh, look at those things. Don't think I would want those to hit me in the face. All right, and then we have the black oh, some cool armor for his horsey, which I believe he gets either way. Yeah, yeah, there's no, it would go on this horse probably. That's cool. Um, Arwen probably has, does she get her father's sword possibly? Or does she get the ring she gives Aragorn? 
Ah, she gets her father's sword. Okay. Which I actually, this is a replica, exact copy replica from the movies right here. And United Cutlery has reviewed this. I have it right there on the wall. I'm looking at it. So um, I believe I already viewed it on the channel. If I didn't, it will be on there sooner or later. So check it out. Yes, glorious. Very, very cool. I like that she has just like a regular elven dagger before she gets that one. That's kind of a cool touch, how they change. I love that. We have the black mouth. He gets the Morgul scythe. He gets a scythe. So he goes from having this sword to having a scythe. That's, that's pretty freaking cool. Actually, what the heck? He looks really good. They did some good visual updates. And now, oh, and her, this girl, oh, they visually updated her. She gets a scythe automatically. What does she get normally? She gets a better scythe. The Forsaken Scythe. So she adopted it because it was Forsaken. <laughs> she had to go to like an adoption agency to get her new scythe. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, we have another cool looking Nazgul. It's uh, Quar I can't say his name, Quan <laughs> or Kuan. I can't always say his name. He gets a cool looking pike. Oh wow, dude, that thing looks cool. It's like a double-sided thing. So this has the spear side, and this has some kind of like slashy. Yeah, I, I really don't know, understand what's happening there on the left side. But the right side looks really cool. They both look cool. This is a cool-looking weapon. And then we got Lurtz. Lurtz, Lurtz, Lurtz. He has the bladed bow that he can hit people with and shoot Boromir at the same time. That's horrible. Oh, wow. He looks way more muscular. They've really updated him. Also, I like that they've really updated the locks, his flowing locks, because everybody knows from the Lord of the Rings and Fellowship of the Ring movie that uruk have really good hair. <laughs> That's half joke, half truth. Um, she gets some mystic touch. Yeah, okay. That looks more like a not mist. That, That's really creepy looking. There's like fingers going on there. I don't even know what's going on. So she basically... Instead of having this, is that staff moving? Wait, a, wait a second. I mean, is that a bird's claw or talon and it's moving on its own? Ugh! She's gotten some scary look updates. Gross. All right. Well, with that left in our minds, sorry about that. Um, quick, guys, you gotta like and subscribe. You gotta save me. <laughs> All right, anyway, thanks to my Patreon. Subscribe button's there. Next episode will be right up there. If you want to continue this series, we're going to review more of the relics. I'm trying to keep these to short little videos. And over there is a Lotra Tale. We're doing voiceovers Lord of the Rings Online. Baruch Hazad Kuzade Menu. Stay happy, my friends. Thanks for hanging out. See you in the next one.